We've got another Strolling with Sammy, and this time I have with me co-offensive coordinator and QB coach, G.J. Kinney. And how are you doing today? Great. Awesome. Well, let's go ahead and start strolling. First off, let's talk a little bit about your family. I know that they're not here yet. They will be soon, though. Yeah, they're back in Hawaii right now. My wife, Summer, um, met her back in college. She was a cheerleader at the University of Tulsa. And then my son, Lincoln, uh, he just turned two on March 5th. He's, uh, he's a beast, man. I don't think he's going to be a quarterback. He's, he might be in there with Coach Hand with the old lineman. Going to be one of the protectors. Oh, yeah. He's a big dude now. He's big. You mentioned Tulsa, but your favorite memory actually comes before you played at Tulsa. What is that memory? Yeah, actually, when I was uh, a freshman at Texas, um, I actually played in the, the opening of the stadium. Um, and I just remember this place rocking, man. The fans jumping up and down, hostile environment. Um, we, we barely, you know, squeaked it out, but it was uh, definitely a cool experience. Absolutely, and playing a, against UCF, what's probably one of the toughest things that you had to face lining up against UCF? I, I think just the, like I said, the hostile environment. Um, this place was rocking, the fans heckling us on the sidelines. Um, it, was, it was always tough playing here. We knew that going into the game. You played at Tulsa. That's a team a lot of fans do not like to talk about. You gonna help us break the Tulsa curse? Oh, most definitely. <laughs> definitely uh, looking forward to playing those guys. And let's talk about your last stop. You were in Hawaii. You were only there for a year, but you have a Hawaiian, all-American QB that you get to coach. How excited are you to coach DG? Oh yeah, DG's a, he's a dude now. He, uh, just getting to know him and being around him for these past couple weeks. Uh, Moxie's off the charts, leadership quality's off the charts, and obviously, uh, his plays, you know, it speaks for itself. And coming from Hawaii, you saw how many legendary QBs come out of that state. What is it about Hawaii and just how excited are you to see him carry on that legacy of Hawaiian QBs? Yeah, I think they just grow up throwing the ball, uh, you know, going to the park on Saturday and Sundays and, and throwing the ball around uh, with their teammates. And it's just natural for them. Uh, they're just natural leaders, uh, natural throwers of the ball. And and uh, once again, just really excited to get to work with you. Well, I had an absolute blast getting to know you a little bit more, and thanks for showing with me. Had a great time. Thanks for having me.